Good morning, good morning, good morning. What do you got there, Rachel? Oh, some scrumptious treats. So uh, we're gonna go out here real quick and uh, we got some stuff to do over in the Pico pen, mainly for our chickens, but we're gonna take these scrumptious, delicious fruit. We got some, some old peaches that had some bad spots on it. They're still good, we could eat it and everything, but we kinda wanna see if the emus will eat them and we wanna see if they like watermelon. You think they will? And it's nice to give them treats. Well, they need fruits and vegetables for yeah. sure. Uh, we do take them lettuce and spinach and stuff like that sometimes as a treat, but I think they would rather prefer something sweet like watermelon and peaches. So we're gonna go out there first thing. We're gonna try that before we get started with the hard work. It just got done raining just uh, about an hour ago or so. It's still kind of sprinkling, but can't wait on mother nature all the time or wouldn't ever get no farm work done. So, I'm gonna show you guys. I got this this Honda lawnmower, or yeah, it's got a Honda mower, Honda motor on it. And uh, you die hard Hidden Heights Farm fam. If you guys remember, the last time I used this was last summer, I believe, whenever right before we were getting ready to build the lean to over here on our goat barn, I was trying to clean all that up right over there where that white tarp is. Before we had that lean to on there, it was just grass and the chute and all that stuff was over there and it was kind of growing up and i was trying to mow it all with this and it just quit working one day and it was really frustrating and i can't remember but i had like two other things go wrong that day we ran into a copperhead over there i can't remember what all but it was a bad day so i just put this thing up and i left it in there it wasn't working i got it out and i just tried to get it going again it wouldn't start so i took the carburetor completely off cleaned it all up put fresh gas in it and it fired right up so, I think it's gonna work this time. We'll see how long it lasts. And you stink like gas. And I stink. Rachel's like, you stink. I was like, it's <laughs> gasoline. I was trying to drain all the old gas, the old fuel out of it. And of course, it always gets all over me and it gives me a headache. Hey. I hate it, but. Quit moving the camera so fast. You're making everybody seasick. It's part of, it's part of this beautiful vlog. It's, it's hard to get used to. I got this little. He does not stay still ever. It's hard, guys. Uh, Rachel just had to do an amazing rescue. I was out here with gas all over my hands and I heard the cats kind of going at it and I look over and Skeeter and Snickers, our old cat and Smeagol was doing something. It looked like they were wrestling. Well, what it was is Snickers, the old cat, actually stole a live chipmunk from Smeagol and Skeeter is trying to referee him and then I had gas on my hands so I was trying to call Rachel real quick and uh, I told her, hey, you need to get out here and see what your cats got because they got some kind of live animal. And luckily, they just caught it and uh, she was able to rescue it and get it over in the woods. And I felt kind of bad though. Like Snickers has not caught anything, which she technically didn't she catch She stole it. it. She stole it from Smee, but she hadn't technically caught anything because she's like almost 20 years old. And she never leaves our back porch no. like ever. And I felt really bad taking it away from her, but it was not injured at all like it was very much alive <laughs> and speaking of cats look at this i'm gonna stay right here i'm gonna try to zoom in with this noisy camera look at mr smeagol on the prowl and I'll, i can see what he's after i don't know if you guys can or not a bunny is he after a bunny there's a couple of them over there oh see you're about oh 20 yards in front of smeagol there's a couple of uh white tail rabbits they come out every evening about this time right there and him and Grace are always over there trying to stalk them. And the other night he actually had uh, Leesky and Cora over there stalking wondering them. what they were doing too. Leesky was stalking one too. It was pretty funny. So, I don't know if you got that on video. I don't know if I did or not. But speaking of the chipmunk, let me get back to my story. I took it away from Snickers. I felt super bad about it because she was probably thinking, that is the last chipmunk I'm ever gonna catch before I pass away and you took it away. <laughs> She's old. So I felt really bad, but I had to save it and I put it over the fence. I had to actually get it in a bucket. Yeah, they will bite you. Like I they <laughs> will bite you. Well, I let That's it the third one this in the past month that so Smeagol's caught, you know I, that? I pried it from Snickers' elderly jaws. <laughs> <laughs> and I set it up on the porch thinking she's not going to see it. Well, immediately Smeagol seen it and took off after it again. So it jumped into a water bucket and I was able to pick up the water bucket and then go like dump it outside of the fence and saved it. So this He's is still stalking it, but they actually um, did catch a chipmunk this week 
right after I washed and scrubbed my porches clean and beautiful, they burnt. And he got a mess all over it. He made a huge mess. It's like when you come to our house, our porches always look like, um, like a scene from a scary movie. <laughs> hey, like I'm, I'm not trying to interrupt you, but look at this. Millie is really upset with Smeagol. She says, Smeagol, we watch these rabbits every night, and if we can't help it, we're going to scare them off. Listen to her. She's seen Smeagol sneaking over there, so now Millie and the honkers are making their way down there being quite loud. Look, he's, he's stalking. Yeah, he is. See? Millie's sitting there watching. She's, oh, now they're taking a seat. Maybe they want him to catch it. They're watching him. All right, we're not going to show that on camera because he usually does catch those rabbits. All right, so you guys are probably wondering why are we going to have this push lawnmower? Well, Rachel's not Rachel's not going to rest on it. So you guys know we got the chickens. We got the Bard Rock chickens and the Polish chickens over in the corner of our Pico pen that has the coop built into our goat barn slash chicken coop. Well, they're not doing a good enough job keeping the grass ate down. Instead of letting goats and the geese in there, we're just going to take the slime over there and try to kind of cut it down for them a little bit. I think they like it with the taller grass in there, but we can't tell if there's like a fox or whatever, anything in there or snakes. So we're going to try to go knock it down for them. And then they don't have a lot of shade. So we got a little uh, metal thing over here that we used to use for the duck house. And uh, we're going to go get that after we get done mowing and feeding the emus this fruit and uh, put that over there so they'll have a little bit more shade to get under. All right, so I got to show you this one more time because now they really are ruining his Smeagol's hunt. He said, oh, I got to get over there before you guys. I don't know what he's doing. Is he in front of them? He is, in, he is laying down in front of the geese. Okay, so now the geese are checking him out. He better watch or he's going to get some... Oh, yeah, they're right there with him. That's funny. All right. Such a funny farm. He's not going to catch no rabbits. Millie's too loud. So let's get this lawn over there. Go get that mode. We'll see if the MUs are going to eat their treats first, and then we'll go get their uh, shade house thing. Yep. This video is sponsored by our friends at ButcherBox. And you guys know we love cooking ButcherBox meats here at Hidden Heights Farm. And what better feeling it is than to know you can rely on our friends at ButcherBox to keep your freezer fully stocked and they're just a click away. And right now, what better time than to be able to go to the freezer and pull out some wonderful meats to enjoy the summertime weather that we're having. And uh, right now for a limited time, ButcherBox put together for new members a grilling bundle. They are offering two 10 ounce ribeyes, five pounds of chicken drumsticks, and a pack of beef burger patties. And remember, ButcherBox sources from farmers and fishers who meet the highest standards in quality. If you guys enjoy home cooked meals and being able to sit at the dinner table with your loved ones, but you don't have a lot of time, you can always rely on ButcherBox to keep your freezer stocked. Just like tonight, we are going with some top sirloin and the kids favorite sirloin tips you choose your box and delivery frequency they offer five boxes four curated box options as well as the popular custom box so you get exactly what you and your family love but your box ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100 percent recyclable box you enjoy high quality meat delivered to your door and more time for amazing meals together. And remember, ButcherBox promises to always deliver delicious 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork-raised, crepe-free, and wild-caught seafood. So if you guys are ready to fill up your freezers for grilling season, remember to click down on the link in the description below to check out our friends at ButcherBox. And remember, new members receive the grilling bundle with your first order, you will get two 10 ounce ribeyes, five pounds of chicken drumsticks, and a bag of beef burgers. Look at this old man. <laughs> it ain't feeding time yet, Mo. We got, we got some stuff to do. I don't even know how you fit under that truck. <laughs> Somebody's stuck. A goat stuck somewhere? Yes, I hear him. Yep, and I hear my mockingbird up here somewhere. I don't know where she's at, but she's up there singing. Mojo's underneath the truck getting some shade. What are you doing, Bob? You want to go in the goat pen with us? All right, so we got the lawnmower over here in the pen, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple paths to like where the water is, then bring it over here to this corner, 
and mow that but we're gonna cut a path to the MUPN first and then we're gonna see if they'll eat this delicious treat but I got a goat down there crying that's stuck so I'm gonna go get it first. first yep then we'll come back and work ghost I thought that was you crying that is a uh, that's a pretty dumb spot to get your head stuck look at this she's so she's sticking her head through the fence and all she's got to do is walk right here to the other side of the gate <laughs> she just got stuck because I was just out here just a second ago and uh, she was she came up to me and was letting me pet her so this just happened Why are you, why would you do that you know all right All you had to do is walk like 20 feet around the gate and you could have come and got your nice salad on the other side. Right? Alright, come on. I hate doing this. Come this way. The reality. She just got stuck, so it's, it's usually harder when they just get stuck because they're not tired and don't really realize how stuck they are. And she's strong. This is the reality of a goat farm, especially yeah. when you have goats with horns. That's why I hate these. Uh, I hate this fence. Hold on, girl. You got to tilt your head the right way. She won't quit fighting me, so I can't get her. Uh, Alright, one at a time. We gotta do one at a time. <laughs> Look. Okay. You gotta get one horn through. <laughs> oh great, now we're gonna have a crowd. Quit fighting me, girl. I think I almost got it. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Go the other way now. Oh, she's already messed it up. Hold on. Come here. Come on. Okay. Look behind you. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you supervising? Huh? Were you telling me? Huh? There she goes. Silly goat. Millie? What you doing? You guys are like the old people who walk around town just gossiping all the time. You know who did this? You know who did that? Look, now they're making fun of Ghostface because she got her head stuck in the fence. You girls go mind your own business for once. Okay, update on Smeagol. We went and did all that and he's still trying to stalk those rabbits. Right there they are. Alright, let's get that fruit. Okay, so the goats has never been around this lawnmower. I'm just kind of eager to see what all the animals do when I start it. Actually, I think these are like nectarines, they're not peaches. I don't know what they are actually. Oh, that didn't work too good. Come here, Come here. Yoshi, come here, buddy. 
lawnmower scared him. Well, yeah, it scared him. Yoshi! Come here, I got a surprise. Can, can you guys tell how tall they're getting and how much they grow? It's just amazing. Come on, guys. You gotta try it. It's not a trap. <laughs> They're like, what kind of trick is this? We're not falling for it this time. If it was shiny, you'd be pecking it. If you just take one bite, you'll be hooked. I promise it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> They're not gonna. <laughs> Millie said, what are you going in there? I'll eat it. Yeah, she chose later on. I'll put, put it on a different on. plate if I was just to throw it on the ground and get it all dirty, of course I'd Get out of here, guys. You, girls are too noisy. Guys and girls. They said, we'll eat it. All right, Yoshi, your turn. Come on. No. Yoshi said, what you got? Come here. Come here. wonder if I should put it in the food dish. I think they'll come over eventually. It's just going to take some patience. Pick that lens and scratch it. Guys, there's fresh fruit right here, and you guys are gonna choose diamonds. Diamonds. They want diamonds. They're girls. They said, Dad, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Look, it's on a plate. They said, but it's not on a silver plate. Yeah. We like diamonds and gold and silver. Yeah, I know they like shiny stuff. <laughs> Look, right here. Nope. Oh my god. Come on, so guys. All right, let's just leave it here. I'm gonna go mow that real quick, and maybe when we come back, they'll maybe eat some of it. They won't be scared of it. All right. So here's this little flock of chickens in here, and you can see what their grass is starting to look like. It's uh, starting to grow up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that lawnmower in here and try to get some of this mowed. And then we'll see if the emus will start eating their fruit. better much better I think they like it they're already chasing bugs now they can see all the bugs crawling all right girls come this way now we just got to get them some shade yep 
because it gets hot out here. And they like to get in this little corner over there that's a very, very shady spot. But there's not much shade out here. the geese is over there in the shade and the emus still have not touched their fruit you good to go oh yeah I got oh, a cup of water. you got some water in there you think we can carry that in this thing I don't know I bet we can we'll see. we gotta get through the dogs first Mr. Risky, there's Miss Cora, queen of the compost. <laughs> queen of the compost. All right, so what we're gonna do, Risky, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna borrow this duck house. So we gotta get some shade over for the chickens. You don't Excuse know. Me. Hey, Excuse me. Hey, Cora. You know, girl. You know, pretty girl. All right, so you guys remember the duck house? We put this out here last winter. Once we uh, put the goats and the dogs in the barn, we closed them off so the ducks could still get to the pond and the dogs couldn't get to the ducks. Yeah, you could have brought the mower in here. I can, I can bring the uh, big mower in here and get this though pretty easy. Except for stuff like this where the dogs have all their treasures and sticks and stuff everywhere. Makes it hard to mow around. But yep. So this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna grab this and go take it over there to the uh, chicken coop pen. And I don't know if I think the thing's gonna fit in there or not. <laughs> what do you want, Mr. White Teeth? Hey, Cora. No, 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 no. Don't get me all filthy. All right, we're gonna try to load this thing. What's in there, Kevin? All right, so we got a wasp nest. Oh, the red wasp. Here, let me see the back. I'm probably just gonna get stung. Well, that wasn't smart. Huh? You didn't get them. Nope. <laughs> made them mad. I got the nest. Yeah, that's not what matters. No. Alright, one's over there. I don't know where the other one went. The other one went over here. There, I got a cat time. Nailed him. Nailed him. Alright, so how are we going to fit this big thing on this little wagon? She said, just I like get that. In the wagon. You want to ride in the wagon? All right. Nothing is ever just like simple on our farm, is it? Nope. I'm telling you, we could literally make a video every day of something. think that's gonna work. I don't either, but we're gonna try it. Why don't we just carry it? Oh, we can. Or we're gonna get a tractor. But that's really easy. So why would we do that? It was bigger than I remember it. Yeah, it's way bigger. Something just didn't work. Watch your fingers, don't cut yourself. Okay, you pull the wagon and I'll hold it. Oh, <laughs> poor. We should have just got the tractor, right? Uh, this is exercise. Farm version. Okay. Ready? Ready as ever. Okay. All right, now we gotta truck it all the way over to the chicken pen. 
Don't let it cut you. They got their shade house, whatever you want to call it. There you go, chickens. Now you got more shade for when there is a hot west sun, because this is where the sun sets right there. And you can see it's up there right now behind a cloud, but normally they don't have much shade unless they get over there on the other side of that barn or they get inside the barn. But in July and August, inside that barn gets pretty hot, so. They should be happy. All right, let's go see if these emus are eating the fruit. I'm guessing no. Guys, you haven't even tried it. You want me to feed it, put it in your feed dish? Oh, now you're scared. Come on. Come here. You know, I could have ate this, but I was sharing with you guys. Let's see if they eat it out of my hand, maybe. Huh. Huh. Look, guys. Girls. Let me throw it on the ground. So you guys try it if I do that. Well, you started to. I promise it's not bad. I promise. Try it. You know you want to. They won't try it. <coughs> oh, now they're talking to the geese. Yeah, the geese will eat it. I know they will, but I want the emus to eat it. They need uh, some different variety because they don't have all that grass and stuff like the chickens and geese do. Well, we tried. Here, Yoshi. All right, I'm just gonna set it over here and maybe if they want it. So guys, on their feet, I think I showed you this already, but we got the dog food mixed in with the rat type pellets and the chicken scratch. So they got a little variety here. I'm gonna try to entice them. Look at that, watermelon. The sprinkled food on it, I got that, dog food. So yesterday, I wasn't recording, but I came out here and the emus was in their pool. Now I haven't seen them like sit down or lay down in it, but they get in there and stand in it and kind of dip their necks in it a little bit. They seem to like it and it kind of cools them down.
They know they want it, they just won't try it for some reason. I don't get it. Usually when you put colorful things in there, like a red bucket or a blue bucket, they'll start pecking at it because it's bright and pretty. But in this case, they're staying clear of the watermelon and the nectarines. Hmm. I don't know. There you go, guys. Get there if you want it. All right, guys, so uh, we got to get to feeding the rest of the animals. I guess this is where we will call it quits on the video. Um, we wanted to get this mode, get the chicken some extra shade. We, we're still just in the 80s. I don't know if we've had any 90s days yet. It's mid-June pretty much, but like I said, in July and August, the sun gets hotter, gets hotter outside, and then these chickens don't get any shade over here hardly. In the very late evening, they have it all, you know, throughout the morning and afternoon a little bit from the trees in the barn, but once the sun gets to on the other side and starts to set, that's when they actually get hot. So, you doing giving them some fresh water? Yeah. Well, I think they like their freshly mowed uh, yard. I think they do too. Now they can see more bugs and... They felt like they were in the jungle. Yep, they did. I think they're happy. They're all hunting right now. So anyways guys, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you guys clicking on this video and watching it and leaving us all the awesome comments. We love you guys. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, leave us a comment and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.